from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm John Sable. Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The head juror in the manslaughter trial against Michael Draca says they narrowly escaped a mistrial. Speaking exclusively with ABC Action News, Timothy Kleinman says two jurors were leaning toward not guilty until the last few minutes. Unsure the evidence went beyond a reasonable doubt, but they rewatched the surveillance video of the shooting and decided deadly force against Marquise McLaughlin was unjustified, finding Draca guilty. A St. Pete church will welcome preschoolers back to class Monday morning after a bullet fired right through a classroom window last week. Now, Allendale United Methodist Church is making some changes. The bullet hit a window behind the playground. St. Pete police don't believe the church was targeted. Nonetheless, staff now adding a security guard and multiple surveillance cameras there. It's been nearly two weeks since 36 depressions opened up in Pasco County. Tonight, they continue to cause havoc for neighbors and drivers. The county tells us they haven't seen any new holes form, but some of the existing holes are increasing in size. Officials are still waiting on the test results to see if these are indeed sinkholes or what else may be causing them to grow in the Lakeside Woodlands community. Now, Jason, it's been a hot end of the weekend here, but what are we looking like for Monday morning? It looks pretty good out there. We'll still stay warm, muggy, and temperatures into the upper 70s to near 80, but we're starting to see winds now returning back in off of the Gulf of Mexico. That means a chance for a few coastal showers in the morning, but that chance is on the lower side. The sea breeze will definitely become much more active by the noon hour and then push inland, giving us a widespread chance for showers and storms. So if you avoid the rain, your temperatures will stay in the low 90s for highs, but notice how much more widespread the rain shows up here from noon to 4 p.m. as we look at future cast compared to the weekend when there was barely anything out there. So again, a much higher chance of rain, not only for your Monday, but the onshore winds continue into Tuesday and for much of the upcoming work week. So higher rain chances are back and the heat should be uh, not as bad as it was over the weekend with those record highs in the mid and upper 90s. All right, Jason, we'll take it. You can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.